It's Friday, and that means it's time for our weekly arts and culture segment. We have our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, in the studio. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Jongmin. I understand you have something different today. That's right, Jongmin, and that's because the countdown for the Hangzhou Asian Games is now on. Now, as you know, the event was supposed to take place last summer, but it was pushed back a year due to concerns over COVID-19. And yesterday, marking 30 days until the opening ceremony, the athletes of Team Korea gathered at the Jincheon National Training Center for a press event and I had the opportunity to really listen to and take a look at how the athletes are preparing for the games. So for this week, here are some of the standout events as well as athletes from Korea to keep an eye on next month. With the Hangzhou Asian Games less than a month away, Team Korea's athletes are giving their all at the Jincheon National Training Center. Korea's goal, placing third out of 45 countries in the overall medal ranking. The country dropped from second to third for the first time in 24 years, swapping positions with Japan five years ago in Jakarta. The national team is undergoing a generational shift. Young athletes need more time to reach their peak performance. Meanwhile, Japan made nearly tenfold more investment in sports as they prepared for the Tokyo Olympics. But I think we've narrowed the gap a lot. Hopes are high for the nation's swimmers. The Korean Olympic Committee predicts six gold in swimming, the most for any sport, led by two-time world championship medalist Hwang son -woo. Also in the spotlight is Kim Woo min who ranked fifth in the men's 400-meter freestyle and was the fastest Asian in the 800 meters at last month's world championships in Fukuoka. It's my first Asian Games, so I want to really impress people on my debut. I want to enjoy every bit of it, even the pressure. Korea is also known for its archery and fencing. Kim Woo Jin is the reigning men's individual archery champion. Woman's epi fencer Song Se Da clinched victory in both the individual and team finals during last year's Cairo World Championships. Saber fencer Ku Bun Gil is aiming to secure a fourth consecutive individual and a third team champion title, which would make him the most decorated Asian Games medalist from Korea. Korean athletes are great at individual events, but I think we're stronger as a group. Our teamwork truly shines thanks to our exceptional communication. There are exciting firsts, too. Breakdancing and esports are making their Asian Games debuts as official events. Through competitions known as battles, we've been introducing Korea to the global dance scene. As we make our way into the world of sports, we're feeling more pride and responsibility and are pushing ourselves harder. So, as the road to Hangzhou draws closer, Team Korea is gearing up to bring some joy and excitement to those at home. You know, Team Korea seems to be ready to go. You're right, Tommy. So while at the press event yesterday, I could really feel the anticipation and how much dedicated the athletes are to really show their best performance next month in Hangzhou, especially after the lower than expected performance in Jakarta five years ago. And actually, during the press conference yesterday, the head of the Jincheon National Training Center told us reporters that to really motivate and to boost the athletes' morale, they've reinstated the early morning exercises every day, as well as bi-weekly uh, hiking sessions as well. And What's more, it was kind of shocking for us, but the center is even disconnecting Wi-Fi from midnight to 5 a.m. to make sure athletes rest without any distractions. So we'll have to see whether such rigorous and intensive training pays off next month. It'll pay off. <laughs> and tell us more about the Hangzhou Asian Games. It's a big sporting event here in Asia. When the event will kick off and how many athletes will participate? You're right, Tom. It's not an exaggeration to say that it's one of the biggest sporting events in Asia, too. So to talk about the opening ceremony, the official games will start off um, on September 23rd, 8 p.m. China time. That is when the opening ceremony to take place. And what's special about this year's games is that a record number of 12,005 athletes from 45 countries will be competing in 40 sports. And as for Team Korea, South Korea is sending over 860 athletes in 39 sports. And the competition venues it will take place across six cities, including Hangzhou in China's Zhejiang province on the East Coast. And I'm really thrilled to share that I'll be going to Hangzhou next month to cover the opening ceremony, as well as to really show you the overall atmosphere of the game. So please stay tuned. Can't wait. Thanks, Eugene. Thank you.